women's rights, civil war, and world domination. What more could a Soviet comrade possibly ask for? So stay and watch the video, or else I might get upset and send you to a gulag. Hello everyone, my name is Isaiah and this is my YouTube channel. Today we're playing another wonderful mod for Hearts of Iron 4, the Kaiser Redux mod. And if you haven't played Kaiserreich or Kaiser Redux before, it's an old history mod where the German Empire and its allies win World War I and become the dom dominating global hegemon. Throughout this video, I decided to play the beaten and disgraced remains of Russia and bring in a time of revolution and liberation, if you know what I mean. Since our embarrassing defeat in the wake of the Weltkrieg, Russia has been plagued with constant economic and political instability through both exterior and interior pressures. In order to start streamlining our industry, we first needed to garner support for our chosen political party and overcome the competition, which is going to be harder than it sounds since we're aiming for the socialist and totalist parties, which are partially responsible for a few incidences and which have also put us down this path to begin with of how Russia got so messed up. Luckily this mod offers a cool guide informing you what actions you actually need to take to go down the path you want. Otherwise this entire experience would have been a lot more painful. As you have might have guessed, our situation isn't exactly optimal. We are surrounded by potential enemies on all sides, our industry has lagged behind, and our own people have the chronic illness of wanting to start another civil war. However, there is a silver lining. This currency guy is single-handedly preventing Russia from collapsing into another Monday morning. Oh, never mind. He just, he just got assassinated. Anyway, since the reputation of the socialist parties in our country is so bad, it's going to be a truly grueling effort to put them into power. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, just like that. Huh. I didn't know it was just going to be that easy. I'm sure there's going to be no consequences. There we go, baby. Let's go. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that's such rich land there. Yes, that is 100% for the revolution. After becoming socialist, without taking the proper decisions to solidify our position over the other parties, regions across the nation started breaking away and declaring themselves autonomous. Hence, weakening us further and increasing the number of enemies we have to deal with in order to reclaim what was once ours. However, it wasn't long before things once again took a turn for the worst. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, oh that's that's awkward.
Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, you fucking break! Go! I am fighting the fiends as well. Who cares? I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. No shot. Please give me a break. How many? They got 95 in total. It's only 1939. That's just this is taking three hours. Finally. I could do my focus tree. I could do my focus tree after three hours. Uh, isn't she beautiful? Still a bit deformed, but it's okay. Wow, we have... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so I could easily do ease up conscriptions. Perfectly fine. That is perfectly A-OK. -okay. Oh, wow. So after doing all that, we once again have literally... Oh, we are still broken as all shit. Holy crap. My precious. <laughs> My precious. Finally, after fighting for years against the combined forces of seven other nations throughout the Civil War. We are the ones that stand victorious. Even though millions of Russian citizens perished during the conflict, and our economy has to be built from literally the ground up, we have created a foundation for what will truly be a great and prosperous nation. However, it's time to choose a leader that would lead a great nation. Oh my god, our economy is screwed. Dude, what the heck? I'm still an economic powerhouse now. Where are you, Germany? We are on we we surpassed Germany. Oh my god. Yo, ouch. Oh, what the heck? Okay, what is going on here? No, no, I don't want... No, I don't like that. Wait, I just clicked someone. Oh, shit. You're telling me... Okay, that's a bit of a... Whoopsie. I thought they all increase. What? We got fucking helicopters. Um. Okay, how do we improve the industrious? As war raged on in Europe, 
with the Reich's Pact and the Entente fighting against our socialist comrades, we slowly rebuilt, gathering our strength bit by bit to strike and repel all that threaten our motherland. Absolute powerhouse of production we are. And I need another 24. So 8, 32. Basic math, let's go easy. And when that's all done, big stonks. It didn't take long for trouble to start knocking on our front door. German Empire, you bastard! Well, that is... That is not good. Even with the relatively short time we were given to recover from the damage done by the civil war and long-lasting stagnation, we were able to successfully jumpstart our economy, becoming the single biggest industry in the world. So that's how I knew it was only a matter of time into the inevitable conflict with a German powerhouse. Let's see which one of us will persevere. Will it be the monarchy of tradition or the ideals of socialism? Oh, shit. Only time will tell. Wow. I'm literally just eating them. Because Germany has quite literally uh, put their, all their troops on the French border. I'm just going to destroy Ukraine here. Like, yes, they have a lot of troops and stuff like that, but my quantity. Initially, I was thinking this was going to be an easy fight. As I was only up against the German puppets. However, things were slowly getting out of hand. Socialist France and England were both slowly getting pushed back and would eventually collapse. And if that happens, all of Germany's troops will also be at my border. Yo, that's not good. I see an error. Bit of an annoying problem we're having. Okay, line's a bit weak at the moment. Still got 24 divisions that's about to come out, and that will strengthen the line quite a bit. We've got a million troops. Like, I'm not weak at all. I'm fucking from Russia, so. I had to hold the line long enough until I was able to produce enough tanks which could then slowly chip away at their hordes of units. Then I could slowly turn the tide and win this war. How are we doing with air? Absolutely smashing them here. Going here. No. I probably should just ramp up. I still got a thousand airplanes. Up there. Um, I'm gonna keep going. Keep bringing it. Keep bringing the heat. No, no, don't be a bust. Oh, okay, that's annoying. Time for militarization again. Pump all these up. Jeez. We're already so strong. And this is with a civil war. I've got... Do I even still have debuffs? Nah, I've, I'm I'm lucky because they attacked me just after I got rid of most of the bad ones. And what's this? I have no anti-air. Oh, that's so annoying. I haven't been producing it. I don't know what it's wanting me to do, but... Got so many trucks, which is perfect. Um, uh, mechanized is not so much. I 
Uh, where's the helicopters? Oof. Oh, just absolute chaos. I need, um, I forgot to be researching the, uh, was that satellites or something? Holy shit, how many? I have 208 sieves. Wow. It's farming. Manpower is perfect. I feel like even though, um, oh, we still have 110 million. Okay. Take it back. Like, that's, wow. Like, this is even less than historical, like, not historical, uh, modern day Russia. I guess Monday Russia has a hundred and forty four million or something like a hundred and like and this is wow. This is ages ago as well. Oh two. I'm not sure if if even correct. I'm just rambling now. Go back to playing the game. I made small pushes into the Baltics and was able to capitulate one minor nation there. Then focused most of my assaults after that into the Ukraine region. However, instead of facing less resistance with every unit encircled, I felt like Germany had two more coming to the front line. Slowly, my infantry were also losing their efficiency, even with the assistance of air, and was reminded about the need for tanks before it became too late. Yeah, we could hold now, but fuck me, man. Can we? Can we? There's just so many! Jesus fucking can they just find stuff? Oh, they are slowly pushing me. A thousand divisions! A thousand! As we were slowly being pushed back, it started to seem that the combined forces of the Reich's Pact were becoming too much for us to face alone. Even when considering our industrial might, I was afraid that it was too late and our line would collapse completely before we were able to deliver sufficient damage that would turn the tide of the war. In a moment of haste, I used what few tanks we had maintaining our main front and began cleaning up our southern front, which began freeing up a lot more of our troops. I then decided it was time to strictly focus on mounting a counter-offensive, where then I realised that most of the nations a part of the Reich's Pact had unequipped divisions, then verified through our intel that most of them were actually running dangerously low on manpower, with even Germany being forced on one of the harshest conscription laws, while as the vast Russia, I still had a huge quantity of reserves to spare. That's when I knew. My plan to hold out and fight a war of attrition was a success. Now all I knew was that I had to grind them down into nothing.
Hey guys, I just wanted to thank you all for sticking around to the end and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you liked or disliked down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to take your advice into consideration for the next video. Playing Kaiser Redux, it was so much fun. But became really crazy and drawn out during the session and from the looks of it, I really wasn't able to access a lot of my focus tree for the Soviet Union. And I was just stacking up political power due to the sole reason of me not being able to choose a focus. But either way, this was a really fun playthrough. And I'll make sure to play it once again in the future sometime. Well, who knows, maybe. <laughs> so, please make sure to leave some recommendations for future videos in the comment section. And if you could be so kind, please like and subscribe to the video and my channel. Yeah, you know, you know, be so kind. <laughs> either way, thank you and have a good day.